Hey guys, it's Raquel with Stage Right Secrets, and I am here with the incredibly talented Kale Dalt. What's going on? How are you? I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. And we just have to wish you a congratulations because you just signed with Warner Chapel Hill. I did. So tell me a little bit about that. Who was the first person you called? Who was the first person I called? Um, my mom was pretty excited. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm sure. My dad was more excited uh, because he has been listening to me bang on a guitar through the walls for the past uh, probably 20 years. And uh, so he was excited that XE has become a situation where I will get paid for writing songs. Yeah. So, and now you get to make money doing what you love, so that's exciting. Yeah, and that's a rare thing in this business, so yeah. I'm excited about that. And you've been touring with Kanan Smith. How was that? It's been good. I love Kanan. He's one of the first guys I met uh, four years ago when I moved to Nashville. And so for, for it was exciting to see things take off for him, and uh, it's, it's exciting to be in a situation where I can be opening for him and uh, you know being on the road together this past year because he's had a great year. And he had his first number one, and uh, he's just he's been killing it on the road, so it's exciting to see things take off for him. And you co-wrote this Ain't No Drunk Dial. I did. And you got to see it performed at the Opry. How was that experience? It was killer. Uh, you know, the guys in A Thousand Horses are some of my favorite people in town. And, and kind of like Canyon, they were some of the first people I met. And they've, they've just been having a great year this past year with their first number one. And um, we haven't been able to do any touring yet just because our schedules have been so opposite. Mm -hmm. But it's been, uh, it's been a crazy experience watching that song, you know, continue to climb because it's you know, we, we wrote that song about a year and a half ago, and uh, then they got signed, and then they said, oh, it's going on the record. Then I go, oh, it's going to be a single, and, um, you know, it's, it's been cool seeing it happen for them. Yeah, so. well, what has that experience been like? It's happened so quick. Yeah, surreal, honestly, because, uh, you know, I've had, I wrote some songs with some other friends that have had just, like, some independent cuts and whatnot, but this is my first song on radio, so, uh, you know, anytime you hear it, it's still, I don't, I don't know if that'll ever get old, so. Are you awesome. just like, oh, bye, Dolly. Bye, Dolly. We found nice a dog. You. So stray dog. If anybody is, needs this dog, and uh, it's probably a neighbor. Honestly, we can just give it back to you. She's cute. Really Stagerightsecrets.com. It'll have her all her, all her info on there. Yeah, so. basically. All right, so you're, she's back. And she's <laughs> back. Now you're co makeup. <laughs> now you're constantly touring and traveling. What's the first thing you do when you come back home? When you come back home. A uh, lot of people have been like, I mow the lawn. I do laundry. I hibernate. I would say I do laundry, but uh, that's, that's the, the suitcase really doesn't ever get unpacked at this that's point. That's true. So um, I just did my last long run of the year uh, this past weekend, and it was uh, the first time I unloaded my suitcase. And How was that feeling? Interesting, uh, because first of all, I've unloaded it since January. Wow. So, um, it's been just a constant cycle of clean clothes, dirty clothes, laundry mat, back on the road, keep it packed, we're going back tomorrow, you're home for a day. Uh, so the first thing I do is honestly um, go back to the studio and it's just uh, to get back out there and play more new songs. Uh, that's just, it's kind of addicting, honestly, especially now that I'm with Warner Chapel, it's just a, kind of a whole new different game uh, of people to be working with and whatnot. I, I don't do anything probably quirky or unique that's probably, uh, you know, like, I don't know. I, I see people I haven't seen in a while, that's for sure, like friends and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, I have some family members that live up here in Nashville too, so it's, it's good to see them. Good to see the fam. Good to see the fam. All right, you're originally from Georgia. I am. What was, the big, what was your transition like to Nashville? So I came up here when I was about 18 years old uh, to do some recording with a buddy and just became obsessed. It kind of just felt like the right place I needed to be. Mm -hmm. uh, finished out college in Columbus, Georgia, and as soon as I got done with that, I think I was packed on my last day of class um, and left the next day. Wow. So it's been, it's been an adventure, it's been wild. I've met some great people and uh, I've had to figure a lot of things out along the way. But um, it's been great. I love it here. I never want to leave. Never want to leave. Okay, so we have a Twitter question actually. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. So Is it from my mom? Because she loves Twitter. Um, maybe. I Wouldn't could surprise be. Me. So if you were a tree. Hey, if I was a tree. If you were a tree. Well, if you could have anything carved into your trunk, what would it say? Oh, wow. Um, that's, that's a good question. Uh, it would prob probably be, I saw an interesting one one time. Uh, I'm from Georgia, so there's a lot of, a lot of pines. Uh, it said initials, and it said first date. And so I was oh. always interested to know whether that lasted or not. Yeah. But if it did, the significance of that tree was probably pretty special to that couple. So. Right, that is true. Yeah, so... Hmm. But I can imagine it wasn't old enough to be a Tinder date, so probably probably wasn't. I don't. I don't. No. I 
We'll, we'll have why? To go why are you turning tree. red? Why we'll are you? Go, why are you? We'll wishing? have to go find that tree and see if it's still there. Well, I guess. Either right. that or a really cool quote. All right. So what's next for you? What's next? Um, so I just got off the road for for the year. Uh, now we're starting November. It's crazy. This year felt like a month long. Uh, it flew by. I am doing recording with Corey Crowder in December. I'm working on a new record, and uh, that I'm gonna have a bunch of new stuff out at the beginning of the year. Uh, the Warner Chapel stuff is just now picking up and getting crazy, and I uh, hit the road uh, in February of next year. And uh, there's a lot of a lot of cool dates coming up that will be announced soon. So I'm excited That's about that. That's super exciting. I'll let Stage Right Secrets know first. Yeah, he better. This is on camera, so is. now you have to. Let can't us lie about first. it. Nope. Mm -mm. Sorry. You can see it on Netflix. And wait, what did you say? Pay per view and chill. Pay per view and pajamas. Pajamas. In pajamas. Yeah. There we go. It's the new Netflix and chill. It's the PG version. Hashtag PG. Did she just do the... Hashtag. You have it. to do it. Cool. Hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs> all right, guys. To so stay updated with all things music, be sure to check out our website, Stage Rate Secrets, and of course, all of our social media. And obviously, you need to shamelessly plug in all of your social me media, so go for it. So Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook is all just at Kale Dodds. C-A-L-E-D-O-D-D-S. It's going to come up in the link right here, below us. Right there. And, uh, and we want to thank Dolly for being a special guest today and, uh, and giving us fleas and good times. So thank you, Dolly. You smell great. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you guys Bye. for having me.